Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to Pop Turnative. This, of course, is the podcast and talk show where we have digital discussions from the worlds of TV, film, news, pop culture, music, lifestyle, everything really. Depending on the guest, we do talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Peter Miotis. On social media, you know me as Peter Beats. You will recognize my guests from a lot of cool TV shows and a lot of cool projects over the years. But most recently, you would recognize her in an episode of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier on Disney+. Plus. Mickey Ishikawa is with us. Mickey, welcome to Pop Alternative. Hi, thank you for having me. No problem. I mean, <laughs> it's just, it's so exciting. And like, it hasn't gone down the hype of this show what does it feel like to be part of this hype train that's just not stopping right now mickey uh it's been a whirlwind honestly i'm going on this train just as much as everyone else is going on it so it's been really really cool to see everyone's reactions or responses and you know i mean same with me i'm always like oh this is really cool (laughs) it's it's interesting too because you know your character um a lot of people have questions about your character, amazing scenes of Sebastian and everything. I mean, first of all, what was it like kind of working with him as a scene partner? Oh my God, I have nothing but praises, high praises for Sebastian. He was a wonderful scene partner. You like, you jump in on, I mean, literally, this is a train. This is a high speed train and they're just <laughs> started, like- It's a train, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a train, but they're literally like, you know, don't don't fall off. And you're like, oh, okay, okay. But um, I couldn't honestly ask for a better scene partner. We had a lot of fun working together and he is extremely warm and receptive and we just you know got to play around a lot which is really nice and uh yeah i had a, a great time with him for sure now a little bit of a two-headed monster right now because you are part of the marvel universe but you're also uh-huh. part of the disney plus universe what does it feel like <laughs> to be part of that two-headed monster i just talked about <laughs> honestly i don't know if i've really like completely fully taken it in it sometimes I have to kind of remove myself from the situation and, and try to look at it from a third party, but yeah. it, it's hard because when you're in it, you don't really get it. And you know, at the end of the day, like just being an actor and trying to get like your next thing and stuff like that, you're just like, wow, hopefully this does something for me. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> in, in that sense, but you know, I'm, I've also been doing this like my whole life. Yeah. So it, this is again like it's a new whole experience that I haven't had yet too. So it's it's great and it's a whole new universe for sure. So you're introduced in the for people that have not watched it, you know, in an episode you show up and you know you're a bartender where Sebastian is and you know you end up talking and conversing and it's really nice scenes and everything. Um I'm sure you're familiar because you're on social media, you're seeing everything. The fan theories are coming in hot. <laughs> <laughs> like, hot. I've, I've seen a few. I've seen a few. <laughs> what is it like just being, especially on their wavelength? Like you said, like you, we're on the same train, right? <laughs> we don't know what's, no one really knows what's going on. Right? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've definitely, I've seen a few even prior to the show releasing. I definitely saw a few, got sent a few, had friends that are, <laughs> super into the MCU world and to all the reddits and they're just like texting me and calling me like so what can you tell us and I, I, I don't know what I can tell you <laughs> it's funny so it's, yeah. it's been interesting <laughs> It's funny because I, I interview a lot of people from Cobra Kai on Netflix and mm. those like the fan theories for that show are insane <laughs> and it's like guys not everyone could be related you know what I mean <laughs> like that's another thing too <laughs> I, I think, right, theories are so awesome, though, because you you want to be right. So at the end of the day, you're just, like, holding on until you basically are proven wrong about your theory. But it's it's fun to just speculate and fun to have all this. And then you have conversations with people about maybe things that you also have similar. And then you're like, oh, no, this idea, right? But, like, it, it's, it's, it must be really exciting for you and your family, your friends, kind of everything that's happening right now, the Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, the anticipation for the show, right, in itself was everyone kept saying, like, this is the most anticipated one of the whole entire, you know, all of the series that are coming out. And then, sure, and, and you're kind of like, you nod your head, and you're like, yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. And then you, it comes out, and you're like, oh, wow, okay, yeah, like, that was, people were right, like, this is crazy. So it's been, I mean, amazing to kind of, you know, unfold and, and witness Yeah. Now it's interesting because you've been doing this for a good amount of time. You know, you were Mm -hmm. Vicky in in some episodes of Zoe 101 on Nickelodeon. And it's one of those 
I think Vicky Vicky was your name. I'm My name was Vicky. Yes. Yeah, I definitely like. I've watched Zoe One to One a lot, <laughs> so I definitely remembered you on, on the show for sure. Do you, do you want to know an inside scoop? Yes. So it was actually between me and the girl Kirsten Herrera who ended up getting Dana. So I almost played Dana. Interesting. And then she and then Dana was not there for season two. <laughs> right, the, the the main girl, yeah, next to Zoe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I was uh yeah, that was it was between me and her. And then I she ended up getting it and they were like, We still love you. You want we want you to be a part of the show. So then they wrote me in and had me as a recurring character. Interesting. So it's kind of funny. Because I interviewed Sean Flynn who played Chase recently about the reunion. Oh yeah, Sean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> Chase Matthews, man, like one of the greatest characters <laughs> ever mm -hmm. in the show. It's funny because that's the stuff. But like, but my question was, sorry, we were just rambling because yeah, no, you no. mesmerized me with the scoop. But <laughs> I actually had a question. It's just yeah. obviously the Marvel Universe is like huge and unbelievable. We know how big deal it is, right? But we also right. know how what a big deal Nickelodeon was at the time, right? So yeah, were you yeah. used to a little bit of like the hype from like 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 it wasn't any it was it wasn't the same it was it was like the same old song same old dance a little bit where you knew there was going to be hype around it because you've been around projects in the past that had a lot of hype as well mm -hmm. right yeah i mean i think it's like every time it just is a new experience and it's like a whole new level of stuff you know obviously my when i was younger i was a kid so everything was very cool i mean even as an adult now things are very cool for me thankfully but definitely as a kid, like that show in itself, you don't know, like it was just fun to do. And then I, I went off and did Yours, Mine and Ours, which was my first movie. And that was also a Nickelodeon film with Paramount and um, Columbia Pictures as well. And and so they like, kept don't me in the family of the Nickelodeon. Don't, don't webcast. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is my webcast. I know, I know. <laughs> I just clued in, but... you were webcasting. <laughs> Love that movie, true, true, true. so good. Yeah, I think, yeah, but you know, like I said, like they kept me in the family with that. And so it's been cool, like, you know, being kept under umbrellas at a time. And then you move on to the next ones and like, obviously Disney. And then now I'm back in Disney again as an adult. So it's it full circle. Okay. <laughs> it is, I think his name is, okay. So yours, your mine and our, yours, mine and ours. Uh, mm -hmm. I, the name of the, 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 the older brother from Dennis Quaid's family. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, you're talking about uh, now. Now I'm oh. talking about Sean. You're talking about Sean. Yeah, Sean. Yes. So yeah, Sean, Sean was in a movie. Do you remember the movie Sleepover? Do you remember I think that movie? I do. I think I do. Yeah. With Alexa Vega and um, yeah, 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 yeah. Evan uh -huh. Peters is in it. Before yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was, yeah. Yeah. Your, that was uh, no. Yours, mine, and ours. I remember like. It was such a big deal too because Hawk Nelson was like a band that I used to listen to growing up, and they have you know, like <laughs> at the house party when they drink bell. Like yeah. that was, I remember yeah. that so much. Oh, dude, was I that had, a real? Was I, what was that? Was that like a real? That was a real party, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. At the, the whole film was a party. You know, like <laughs> I, I, that was so much fun. I have so many great memories. I, I was obviously again like I was like twelve, but then you're actually with all of these kids every day. And it, the film in itself was so much fun. Dennis Quaid is so fun to work with. Renee Russo is the sweetest person. So it's like a huge deal, you know, and you just go into work and then you have to go to school, obviously, like in the trailers and stuff. So, but yeah, I, I have so many great fond memories of that. Absolutely. And you also were in a show, <laughs> The Terror as well, at, at AMC. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love that yeah. show. And Thank you. it was, you've worked on so many cool projects. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of hard for me sometimes. I guess, I guess so. But it's 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 funny because it's hard sometimes for me as the interviewer because you want to kind of fit everything in, but yeah. like it could be kind of stressful. You know what I mean? It's <laughs> like you want you don't want to forget. Did a great things. job. <laughs> no, you but it's just like job. that's a whole new thing, right? And that's kind of yeah. like a historical horror mm -hmm. kind of take on a lot of things, right? That yeah, must have yeah. been a, a cool project to work on. Oh, yeah. I mean, honestly, it was an honor to be a part of that yeah. show and that cast. And obviously, like, you know, U.S. history, right? we're going to quickly talk about that. It's like, it's kind of depends on what part of the country you, you were raised. We've skipped over certain parts of history. So just the incarceration of Japanese Americans during World War II yeah. is not something a lot of people know. So no, honestly, after all. that show came out, I can't, I'm not even kidding you. The amount of reactions of people being like, this was a real thing that happened. And I'm like, oh my God, the people Derek, don't Derek know. Mia, so Derek Mio, who played Chester, was on my show. We were talking about oh, that yeah. too. And he was yeah. just like freaking out about how a lot of people didn't know. 
Exactly. And it, and so you're kind of like astounded, but at the same time, you're just like, right. I, this was something part of, you know, that I'm, I'm so honored to be a part of that slow, you know, kind of showed, right. A little sliver of history, but through a, a horror way. And um, yeah, I'm really proud to be a part of that show. I had an amazing time. That cast is also wonderful, but yeah, great, great show to be a part but of. But I brought up just the, like a bunch of different shows and, and projects that you worked on, right? And they're mm -hmm, all mm -hmm. different, right? Did you, were yeah. you hoping that was going to be something with your storytelling career that you're going to be able to work on different types of projects? Uh, yeah, I mean, I hope I can continue to be able to work on different things and, you know, diet. I mean, first of all, even like terror, right? That's a period piece. Yeah. When, and I'm also Asian American. How many period piece Asian American Asian shows are there? Yeah. There's not many. No. I mean, there's you know, Warrior on uh, on the HBO Max right now is doing great, and that's a. But again, there's not much. So I think even just being able to be like, oh, I'm an actor, being able to do a period piece is like, oh, you know, and at the end of the day, it was an American show. But so I, it, that obviously is great. But yeah, I, I want to be able to flex my muscles and play different things and be part of different casts too. So I hope to be able to continue to be a part of many, many different experiences. The, it's funny because on my show, I, I, I interview a lot of different people and I've, I'm just a sucker for a good horror movie. Like I love horror movies. Um, and, <laughs> me too, me too. Guilty pleasure. <laughs> but it's one of those things too, where I think my favorite part of the horror movie landscape right now is it's, it's like, you don't need the cheap jump scares and the gore to no. scare people. Like that is like mm -hmm. why the scariest movies are like the ones that have like zero, like some of the movies that I've yeah. seen recently that have terrified me, Mickey, are the ones with like mm -hmm. no blood in it at all. <laughs> oh yeah. Cause it's the psychological yeah. aspect of it. It's the thriller ass. Oh, totally. That's why terror, right? They did obviously aside from the gore and the horror, oh, yeah. the actual trauma and the actual like psychological stuff is that horror is the camps, the yeah. incarceration, innocent people innocent yeah. americans at the end of the day mm -hmm. so that in a nutshell of a, as a backdrop is just you remind yourself of the horrors that people can do to other people yeah. so and that's more mind-boggling i think than anything but yeah i'm, I'm with you i'm a, a sucker for thrillers and, and horror and I, and as well I, but i think there's a lot of it happens in music too and it happens in, in pop culture and you see it in the falcon mm -hmm. and winter soldier as well right like there's a lot of genre bending happening in our in, in yeah. pop culture now i mean you know, with mm -hmm. the Flag Smashers on Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I mean, there's a little bit of like right. a thriller horror component there with the masks yeah. and the mm -hmm, mis mm -hmm. mystery. And when we see them on like the train in the first episode, like the yeah. smile, like there is a little bit of like those yeah, elements yeah. in there if you think about yeah. it. Yeah. But what I think they've done such a good job at so far is humanizing them, right? Because yes. at the end of the day, what what is this Flag Smashers goal? And and so, you know, and, and the fact that they're actually trying to help people. So you kind of look at Carly and you're just like, she's actually not that bad, but you're like, oh, you know, and so you, I just love how they've been able to humanize them it's in, in that sense. Absolutely. But it, it's one of those things, too, where the the show, like, for example, I'm watching the show with my parents and like I've watched everything oh, okay. in the Marvel. Right. I've watched all, yeah. all of it. Right. But they've like they've watched the stuff like a while ago and like some of they've missed some movies. Right. And like, mm -hmm. I'm telling them just FYI little things here, but like the show is obviously better in my opinion, if you know what's going on and if you watch the past stuff, but mm -hmm. you can go in fresh as well. Have you noticed that as well too? Oh, totally. Yeah. It's like, they've done such a great job at paralleling real life. Yep. Like you can just drop in and it's almost like if we were to take like what COVID has done right to the world. And it's like, past a post blip but it's like post covid almost like of people coming back it almost kind of feels like that so you can jump in at any time really and not have to know much of what has previously happened with like end game and everything so yeah there's a lot of just like this is reality in, in kind of some sense what's the coolest thing about being part of the falcon and the winter soldier or like oh, two cool man. two things two things <laughs> can you give me two uh, things Two things. One for sure, like the fandom has been amazing. I'm, I'm so like, it's, it's crazy, but it's been really wonderful. And I'm, I'm so appreciative of like, just how much love my character has been getting. So and, much and, love. And, and me, so much love. Cause you know, it's like you do something one, you don't even know if, <laughs> how much your whatever is going to be in it. And then two, you're just like, wow, you don't know what people are going to do. Cause sometimes the internet could be ruthless. Yeah. So you just, you don't know. And I'm, I'm really grateful that everyone has been very well receiving of her. <laughs> uh, so that's been like hands down, super freaking cool. Um, what's another thing? Uh, 
just being a part of it in 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 any capacity that I'm. But it in looks as it's moment. so like I I'm a big like I'm a sucker for horror movies, but I'm also a sucker, Mickey, of like I love just I love what like I, if it looks good, I'm gonna watch it. Like I love oh, just sitting. Yeah. It looks so good. Like it, does it looks? Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> Can we say that? Oh, it's, like it's great. I mean, we're we're so spoiled from TV now. Everything is just so like you don't actually have to go to the theater. You can literally sit in your home living room and, and watch something. But it's the the it's just as good as a huge film, right? So you're just like wow. But clearly, yeah, it's a mini movie. Really, is what we were watching. It, it it's 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 amazing, <laughs> and it just it just blows my mind too. Of you know, there's like three episodes. You know, episode four is coming out soon, and it's just like people are just they're on it like people like people are on it like you know that people have fridays like set aside yeah. to yeah, watch yeah. it you know that <laughs> yeah no it's great i mean it's it's been it's been great to see <laughs> absolutely mickey i want to thank you so much for coming on pop turnative i really oh, appreciate so it much. it's been so fun chatting with you yeah so falcon winter soldier uh, it's on Disney Plus now, um, like I said, so they can check that out. And mm -hmm. your character has an amazing scene, but it's it's a powerful scene. I think that's what you were talking about a little bit about the reception, because it is a cool scene. There's some cool. There's a there's like a chemistry there. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I you know I think I think what's been great is I think people are really loving the scene so much and and just our dynamic because we haven't seen Bucky like this yet. Really, we've seen him as high, like under hydro and like all those things. And now he's like coming into his own. And now he's like having like a real conversation with somebody. Yeah. And he's kind of revealing some things in a softer side of him. So I think that's why everyone loves it so much, just because it feels so real. And like, yeah, your character is kind of part, a big part of this, like a side we haven't seen of him before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's obviously, and then Sam with his sister and like that life. It's like, so I think they've done an amazing job at showing their like them post blip and dealing with their lives, but also trying to save the world and everything else that's going on. So hundred yeah. percent. And where can people follow you on social media to keep up to date with everything? Uh, I have Instagram. It's Mickey mouse, but it's M I K I M O U five E. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I took this from dead mouse. Yes, I know. <laughs> and uh, my, my Twitter is Mickey Ishikawa. Amazing. Well, this has been pop turnative. YouTube.com slash pop turn for previous episodes. Until next time, this is Mickey Ishikawa. And Peter Beats signing off. All right, thanks. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.